metal product surrounds us everywhere. Some are shiny, others are dull. Some are metallic, others colored. Surface finishing refers to a wide range of industrial processes to obtain certain required properties on the surface of manufactured product. Surface finishing is also a term that refers to the process used to alter a metal surface by adding, removing or reshaping. These processes are usually achieved through mechanical, chemical or electrical means. The goal is to protect the metal and improve the aesthetic side. Surface finishing is also known as surface texturing or surface topography. Some common surface finishing operations in engineering. 1. Grinding. Grinding is an abrasive machining process that uses a grinding wheel or grinder as the cutting tool. It is a convectional finish machining process used for producing a good surface finish on the components. When the moving abrasive particles contact the workpiece, they act as tiny cutting tools, each particle cutting a tiny chip from the workpiece. Grinding is used to finish workpiece that must show high surface quality and high accuracy of shape and dimension. Types of grinding include surface grinding, cylindrical grinding, internal grinding, centerless grinding. Advantages of grinding. High surface finish can be obtained. Smooth surface finish can be obtained. Offers high accurate dimensions. Disadvantages of grinding. High cost of the required tools. Imperfect contact may lead to damage. Consumes more time while trying to get the accurate dimensions. 2. Shot peening. Shot peening is a cold work process used to impart compressive residual stresses onto the surface of a component, which results in modified mechanical properties. It enhances the quality and performance of metallic components subjected to cylindrical loads or frictional stresses. Shot peening works by projecting hard spherical media at high velocity on metallic surface, which hardens the surface and induces compressive stress on their superficial layers. One of the main purpose of shot peening is to prevent fatigue and residual stress. After being treated for this purpose, the surface finish is smoothed out, stress is evenly distributed, and the rate of fatigue cracking is brought to a halt. Shot peening is also known as shot blasting, and it's often used on parts that perform under stress such as splines, gears and gear shaft. Advantages of shot peening Increases strength and longevity of metals. Prevent common damages such as cracking, galling and fretting. Increase resistance to fatigue and stress corrosion. Disadvantages of shot peening. High intensity peening can cause undesirable roughness or stress on the surface. Not suitable for treating small surface areas. It can damage close tolerance parts. 3. Burnishing. Burnishing is a process of surface modifications that produces a smooth surface finish by the planetary rotation of a tool over a board or turned surface. It is one of the advanced finishing technique in which no chips are produced and material is not removed from the surface of the workpiece. Burnishing can be carried out in a number of different ways. A convectional lathe on which the workpiece were turned can be used for burnishing, thereby eliminating the time and effect for remounting the workpiece. The burnishing process is considered as a cold working process because the surface of the workpiece is subjected to severe stress due to the planetary motion between the tool and the workpiece and the pressure applied by the tool. The burnishing process can be broadly classified into two types based on the geometry of the tool. They are 1. Ball burnishing 2. Roller burnishing Ball burnishing In this type, the tool consists of one or more spherical balls supported in shank by the hydraulic pressure of the fluid or spring and reactive force of the workpiece. Roller burnishing Roller burnishing employs a tool with single or multiple rollers present around the circumference of a supporting shank. Advantages of burnishing Very close tolerance can be achieved. Reduces hard, wear and corrosion resistance. Very smooth surface finish is possible with burnishing. Disadvantages of burnishing Components with thinner walls, which do not have enough strength, cannot be burnished. Initial cost of the burnishing tool is high, not suitable for all ordinary finishing tasks. Galvanizing. Hot dip galvanizing is the process of immersing iron or steel in a bath of molten zinc to produce a corrosion-resistant multi-layered coating of zinc iron alloy and zinc metal. 
During the process of immersing the steel inside the zinc, a metallurgical reaction occurs between the iron in the steel and the molten zinc. The reaction is a diffusion process. Advantages of galvanizing. Protect the metal from rusting. Add strength and rigidity. Galvanized steel is not affected by acidic substances such as hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid. Disadvantages of galvanizing. Galvanized metals are still subject to chipping, cracks and similar damage. The dimensions of the component or structure are limited by the size of the zinc bath. Any damage galvanized pipe sustain means rust may run into nearby drains, therefore polluting waterways and harming animal life. 5. Electroplating. Electroplating simply means coating an object or a material with a metallic layer or layers using electric current. This process results in a thin layer of metal being deposited onto the surface of a workpiece called substrate. Electroplating is primarily used to change the physical properties of an object. This process is also known as electrodeposition. Electroplating process uses an electric current to dissolve metal and deposit it onto another metal surface. The process works using four primary components. The anode, cathode, solution and power source. The anode is the positively charged electrode in the circuit. It is the metal that will form the plating. The cathode also called substrate is the parts that needs to be plated. It acts as the negatively charged electrode in the circuit. The electrolytic solution contains one or more metal salt, such as copper sulfate to facilitate the flow of electricity. Power source applies current to the anode, introducing electricity to the system. Electroplating has application in a wide range of industries. Advantages of electroplating. Protects object from corrosion and tarnishing. Improves object appearance and properties. Reduces friction and improves object adhesion. Disadvantages of electroplating. Metal deposition occurs very slowly, which takes a lot of time. Can produce hazardous waste that is detrimental to the environment. Expensive to set up. Electropolishing. Electropolishing is an electrochemical process by which surface material is removed by anodic dissolution. Electropolishing uses a combination of rectified current and a blended chemical electrolyte bath to remove flaws from the surface of a metal part. By removing these parts, the electropolishing process will improve the surface finish of the metal, leaving a smoother and more reflective surface. Electropolishing is often described as the reverse of electroplating. Electropolishing is accomplished by creating an electrochemical cell in which the material to be polished is charged anodically. A cathode is formed to mirror the geometry of the work surface and the two are submerged in a heated electrolyte bath. When a DC current is applied, the electrical charge forces metal ion to be dissolved from the metallic work surface. After the electropolishing treatment, the workpiece is passed through a series of process to neutralize, rinse, clean and dry the surface. Advantages of electropolishing. It is increases resistance to corrosion, provides attractive appearance to the metallic surface, reduced product adhesion and ease of cleaning. Disadvantages of electropolishing. Rough surface defects cannot be removed. The electrochemical process takes some time. Electropolishing multi-phase alloys may cause roughening due to selective dissolution of different phases. 7. Anodizing. The formation of an oxide layer on aluminum or aluminum alloys by electrolyte bath is called anodization. The process derives its names from the fact that the aluminum part to be coated becomes the anodes in an electrolytic cell. This differentiates it from electroplating in which the part is made the cathode. Anodizing is accomplished by immersing the aluminum into an acid electrolyte bath and passing an electric current through the medium. A cathode is mounted to the inside of the anodizing tank. The aluminum acts as the anode, so that oxygen ions are released from the electrolyte to combine with aluminum atoms at the surface of the part being anodized. Aluminum is ideally suited to anodizing, although other non-ferrous metals such as magnesium and titanium can also be anodized. Advantages of anodizing. It is easy to maintain. It can be cleaned with water and mild detergent to restore the original luster. Protects the base metal to offer a deeper, richer metallic appearance. Provide good stability to ultraviolet rays and does not peel. Disadvantages of anodizing. Subject to color variations.
can only use specific grades of aluminum for this process. The impact resistance is low. 8. Lapping. Lapping is a surface finishing process, used to increase the dimensional accuracy and surface finish of the workpiece, using fine abrasive particles to perform the action. The simple working of a lapping process involves three elements, a workpiece, a lapping plate, and abrasive particles. The abrasive particles are poured over the lapping plate, and the workpiece is rubbed on it with the help of a machine or by hand. The abrasive particles removes microscopic material from the workpiece. Advantages of lapping. Correction of minor imperfection of shape. This can remove burrs on materials. Rate of production is high. Disadvantages of lapping. Surface finishing is not uniform in this. It is a slow process. It can remove only a limited amount of materials. In conclusion, a proper surface finish ensures that the final product looks better and lasts longer, increased corrosion resistance, help with adhesion of paint and other coating, elimination of surface defects, increased resistance to chemicals, and enhanced aesthetics etc.